Okay. So with random state equals two, I got this score of 937.924. Um, hopefully I put the random states all in the right place. If I didn't, I won't get what I want here. So now let's look at how to do this using um, gradient boosting, the gradient boosting regressor. I call this from scratch, yeah. Now we're gonna do it not from scratch. That's the harder part. Now we're gonna do it using um, gradient boosting regressor. So basically this is how you implement that model. Um, from sklearn.ensemble, it's an ensemble method, import gradient boosting regressor. Great. Okay, now use the following setup. Say GBR, for gradient boosting regressor, equals gradient boosting regressor. We're gonna keep the max depth of two. So this is, a, this is a bunch of decision trees trained on the residuals. And then let's use also random couple things. So we're gonna to try to match what we just did. So we need n estimators equals three. Defaults 100. Um, I think random state equals two to try to get a match. But I want to set the learning rate equal to 1.0 to try to get a match. Okay. So what do I do now? How would I normally do it? You would do gbr.fit. You fit it on x train, comma y train. And then you want to get the predictions. So the predictions would be gbr dot predict with the predictions of x test not x train here and then you want to you can just use the mse score it comparing y test to y predictions to 0 0.5 power as if i was right to this the rmse so you know what the code is and then we want to see what we get here okay so what i've tried to do is duplicate the code using the gradient boosting regressor um, from sklearn. Let's see what we get. Look at that. 937.924743, 0 0.926681, 0 0.06681, 0 0.06681. Oh, it changes at the very end. Look at that. Amazing. Why is this amazing? Because I just showed you how to create the gradient boosting regressor from scratch, okay? So this is how the model actually works. That's the whole point of that long segment. Now, let me show you something else here. What if we change it just a little bit? Instead of trying to duplicate it, let's take out, in it, take out the defaults. And take out them all. Let's just do the defaults. What do you think? Think it'll, it'll matter? So so what what's going on here? Okay, this is important. This is what we did. Okay, the, the, the random state, by the way, is just to try to match scores. We used three decision trees with a max depth of two, and very importantly here, a learning rate of 1.0. Now I say, you know, let's not try to match that. Let's just use the defaults. Let's use the standard sklearn defaults. Let's see what we get. Whoa, <laughs> like what a difference, okay? And and it's not just from in estimators, okay? Let's try it. Let's, you may wonder what are the defaults? Let's try it. GBR, you can just put it in. Oh, I thought they would give it to us. That's weird. Um, Okay, let's 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 tweak this because I want to show you what's what's important here. It's going to be a surprise, I think. Okay, let's let's say if I set max depth equals two. What will that give me? Six fifty seven, about the same, right? I'm not sure. If, maybe that's the default. I'm not using a random state. See, this is why it can be nice to use the random states because you don't really then it it gives you a proper basis of comparison. Random state. Oh, 
Okay, so it's slightly different. Um, I wonder if they use three. But, but anyways, not very, right? It's not near the bad score that we got. Okay, so what else could we change? Now, certainly in estimators, right? I mean, but let's do this. Let's let's start with the learning rate. Now, we had 1.0. Okay. So, so my understanding is that this is with in estimators is 100. Okay, like there it says, you see where it says up there in estimators equals 100? These are the defaults. And, oh yeah, look, max depth is three. So they're using three instead of two. And so maybe we should change it to three. But what I mean is this, like what if we change these one at a time? That's what I guess I'm meaning, right? Here we got the amazing score. Let's change them one at a time. So if we change max depth to three, big improvement. It's good. What if we change an estimator to 100? It went down. What does this tell us? Can you do you have the conclusion? Like what's shockingly important? So important here. Something we haven't talked about yet. We'll talk about it in the next lesson. It's the learning rate. Okay. If I change the learning rate, what is the default? I don't know what it is. Is it 0.1? So, yeah, I think it's 0.1. So look at the tremendous difference in the learning rate. So you just learned something new. And it's that there's something called the learning rate, which is of tremendous importance with gradient boosting. Okay. So to conclude this, Look, we, we got like the default, right? Right. Where is the default? Default is here, 656. That's really good. Let's try let's try XG boost. Extreme gradient boosting. Last piece of code. From XG boost, import XGB regressor. And now I'm just gonna copy the code. Copy it. Where's the default? Yeah, see the default. We use the random state equals two. It doesn't really matter. And then, so so XG boost is, you could think of it as. It's like um, gradient boosting on steroids. <laughs> no, not a good one. Um, it's it's an advanced version of gradient boosting. XGB regressor, X, and it's got to be a, like XGB here. So it is gradient boosting. It just has, you know, regularization and speed improvements included. A lot better. Okay, get it right. So this copying code, you can leave something off and it won't work. Okay, so it's comparable. Interesting, it didn't, did it not do as well? Got a warning. XGBoost will give you its own warnings. Um, yeah, it doesn't always do, but, but what's interesting is like, what if we copy the defaults, right? Do you remember what the defaults are? So these are decision trees, so it'll work. Max depth is three. Um, they have the same number. The the defaults are the same for n estimators. Okay, they both have a hundred. You can see them here if if I start to type it in. If I do it. Maybe not. Whatever. I, some of these things change over time too. There it is. See, n estimators is a hundred. I would say they do have max depth is three. Interesting. I thought the defaults were different. And with XG Boost, you have some different defaults in its um, uh, how how can I put it? It's uh, it's it says different implementations, so the documentation can look different. So 
it gets a pretty comparable results, 669 to I think, was it 656, right? And you might be a little bit surprised sometimes when, like XGBoost is not always gonna perform better. It's designed for bigger data and to be faster. And we're gonna look at the depths of that going forward.